Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Today, I'm thinking we do a Lilith run. Ignore that. That's not because the run was bad. It's because it was extremely laggy, so I'm just going to start again. So we're on a two-win streak, and we need to take out Boss Rush, Mega Satan, and Delirium. Now, since, you know, that other run made it 44 seconds in, I've started a little bit of a conversation, but I, I, I guess we'll have to backtrack. Uh, first things first, the most important thing is the seed. P-Q-K-V-R-K-M-1. Alright, so now that that's done, we can get to the to the juicy stuff. So, Boss Rush, Mega Satan, and Delirium. All three are possible to take out in one run. But it's gonna be tough. Because, I mean, obviously, Boss Rush, you gotta make it there in 20 minutes. Mega Satan, I gotta do Angel Deals. Also, Large Zit. I think that's good? I forget. But it could be cool? I don't know. See what happens. Uh, I will absolutely risk my health for a little bit of money. Okay, by a little bit of money, I mean 10 cents. I think that's a worthy trade. There we go. I mean, obviously the pennies aren't worth a bomb, but you know. A boy can dream. All right, so we do have 10 cents already. If we can get one more nickel, Nun's Habit would actually be really great for this run. Oh, never mind. I would love Nun's Habit. Wait a minute. Wait, I, I was completely underestimating. Uh, no, Nun's Habit, absolutely 10 out of 10. Oh God. Kill this guy first. Come on, please. Thank you. Oh. If he turned into legs, I would have gotten hit there. Which would have been pain, because you really shouldn't take damage on these kinds of rooms, but it's fine. So now we got two bombs, so we can blow up our donation machine, and honestly, we probably will. Probably will blow up my donation machine. We got... It, it's got so much money in it. It's, it's doing fine. So let's, let's blow that up real quick. We did get our item room. I'm afraid to go in the curse room, for obvious reasons. Let's blow these guys up. Hopefully get five cents. Ooh. I mean, I can only use it once. Nuns have it? <gasps> My hero. But we're not allowed to take blue candle, obviously, because, uh, you know. Well, I mean, we, we got box of friends. We can't we can't say no to box of friends. It's a Lilith run. Also, wait, I got that. I got the secret room and didn't even notice. I thought I heard the noise, but honestly, I was just too distracted inhaling intensely because uh, credit card popped off. You go away. Thank you. All right, so yeah, let's fight the boss and go to the next floor. Just a pretty pretty quick first floor, which is honestly really good. I guess it's not pretty quick. It's it's decently quick. I've seen faster. That's for darn sure. But uh, Nun's Habit is absolutely S tier on Lilith runs because that means now we are allowed to use our box of friends more than once on a room if we take a bunch of damage on it. Which is extremely nice because you know me, I like to take damage. It's what I do best. Well, I wouldn't say what I do best. I don't know, what, what do I do best? At least, at least according to Isaac. I, I think the best thing I can do is make... I don't know, I was going to say make calculated decisions, but I honestly still kind of suck at that. Tears Up is absolutely massive though. Let's go to the next floor because this is a speed run. We got 20 minutes to make it six floors. Which is like, what, three minutes? Three, three minutes around there? Like three minutes and 20 seconds-ish? Somewhere around there. You know what I mean. Uh, more money, that's pretty great. I, n like nine times out of 10, I'll use, oh, nine times out of 10, I'll usually trade five cent, or trade a bomb for five cents. Because when in doubt, I can buy another bomb with five cents. It just allows, the money allows the availability to buy something else just in case. Also, you know, I never really use bombs, so might as well. Might as well use them for something useful. So, I mean, obviously we're Lilith. We're looking for something overpowered. Lilith is an extremely easy character to get something overpowered for. It's just usually hard to get to that point where you can get something that's overpowered. I'm not going to blow that up because we've only gotten one key so far. Uh, this is kind of spooky, but it's fine. As long as these guys, as long as these guys die nice and quick, it should be fine. Also, why does the audio seem quieter than normal? I might be going insane. <gasps> Nine inch nails. All right, or eight inch nails. Beautiful pickup. Huge damage up. You love to see it. I was not expecting this. That is that is a massive pickup for us. Cause don't don't forget every time we pick up an item, uh, it works like usually twice. Let's blow this up first of all. Got a key. Heck it, we'll trade it for the other key as well. YOLO, as the kids say. There you go. I'm not going to grab that yellow chest, or the key chest just yet, just because I'm still kind of spooked about 
uh, everything. This guy would like to die real quick. That'd be great. I'm not gonna use our. I'm not gonna use box of friends just because we're. I'm assuming about to find the boss fight. Although if this guy could die, that'd be great. Sir, please stop. Stop. Just come here. Yes, blow yourself up. Beautiful. No. I don't have time for this. Thank you. I. Ah! I was itching my nose. Probably a mistake, but now what are you gonna do? It's fine, we still got a decent amount of health. Also, where did our blue heart go? I haven't gotten hit yet. Where did my blue heart go? How did I lose black heart? Wait, what? Did we not pick up the binky and it gave us a blue heart? I don't know, maybe I got hit by something and didn't notice. Maybe, maybe I got hit by a champion once or something. All right, when in doubt, just assume that the game's right because it's, it's had thousands of hours put into this game and I've had like 135, so. Yeah, when in doubt, just assume it's right because, oh, okay, that was an unlucky bounce. Rude, but fair. We're now at two health. I mean, this is still a really good run. Even, even if I'm taking a bunch of dumb damage, it's still a really good run. I just need to stop taking dumb damage. I'm just gonna keep circling around. These guys will die eventually. There we go, four more to go. One more. Can I hit him? There we go, all right. We got a key, that's nice. I might open those golden chests now, but I don't know, actually. Still kind of spooked about how many keys we have. All right, come on. Just someone, someone come in the line of fire, because it's hard for me to aim. It's very hard to aim as Lilith, so if someone just wants to come towards where my nails are, that'd be great. All right, that guy is one, that guy's also one. Perfect, let's fight the boss, because heck it. 100% deal with the devil chance, but we're not gonna take a deal with the devil unless it's like really good. If it's a really good like run winning options, then yes, I'll take it. Other than that, probably not, no. All right, so we'll take experimental treatment. Uh, damage up, tears down. Okay, not bad. Five red chests. I feel like any pills I'm gonna get are gonna heck me over, but you know what, heck it. Full health, sure, infested, YOLO, luck down. That sucks, two spirit hearts, I love it. Two bombs, go away. And more pills, another luck down, and a pretty fly. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's not the worst pills I've ever seen. Tears up. There we go, that makes up for it all. Perfect, let's go to the next floor because we gotta go. Like, sure, I want to go for the shop, but we just don't have time, honestly. We're at 6 minutes and 50 seconds, so we are technically, we're, we're like exactly to the second on pace, basically. So I'm just hoping that we can keep this. No black heart. All right, just give me my item room, give me my shop, and give me the next floor. Maybe like, I don't know, a library or something. I would love to get bookworm on this run. You know, shooting double shots wouldn't hurt. Here's the shop, at least. One of the things I wanted. There we go. Man, little speed runs suck. Come on, there we go, thank you. Going here, 21 cents. Uh, sure, I'll take compost. I forget what it does, honestly. Uh, all right, we'll grab the spirit heart because we can and let's go the let's just keep exploring We got speed to do not the drug the the efficiency strategy This room's honestly gonna suck. I'm gonna use I, I don't usually use box of friends other than for bosses But I'm gonna use it here because this sucks All right There we go the jukes on fire right now <sighs> Okay, that was close Grab Mega Bean. Big fart. I don't know. Isn't that good? Honestly could have hurt us if it broke that mushroom, but luckily it didn't. And I guess now we're just looking for the boss fight. Or, you know, any, like, dice room or anything fun. Anything super cool would be super cool and awesome and cool and hot and awesome and cool. As I'm sure you would know. There we go. More pills. Luck down. No, I'm good. Thanks, though. Appreciate the offer. All right, come here, enemies. Time for you to die. As swiftly as possible, please. But yeah, no, Nun Nun's Habit is a fantastic pickup because on an enemy, like, if, if we're doing boss rush and we get hit 10 times, that means we're gonna have four boys shooting for us. So it is just a great pickup, especially for the long winding boss fights that we're about to get into, like Delirium as well. Delirium's gonna absolutely suck. Oh crap, the creep. Oh god. Oh, this isn't- Oh, why did I not use this? Why- 
Why did I forget to use it? Gosh, I can pain. Alright, honestly, I feel like I should kill the horse one first because he's he's just lobbing right now. And it's big disrespectful. There you go. Cool. Uh, I like the horse, but I can't take it. Because, I mean, you know, box friends. And we speedrun. Oh, how are we? We're halfway there. Or I guess we're past halfway. We're at 9 minutes and 14 seconds, so we're a minute above pace. Which basically means I cannot waste any time because I gotta go faster. Like, sure, we're ahead of time, but don't forget, we also need to fight the boss. We need to fight the angel statues if I can, so... We gotta heckin' go. Basically. You know, long story short. I don't have enough movement speed to dodge that. Sick. Oh god. Okay, I'm taking too much damage now. If I'm taking this much damage, that's really, really bad. I mean, don't forget, even if I do make boss rush, I still need to survive it. Even if I make it, I still need to not die. It's kind of kind of an important part of boss rush. Like where are all the rooms where it's just flies? You know, I don't I don't get those rooms anymore where it's just super easy, just flies, just shoot like shoot like three times, they're all dead, you know? Any of these complicated rooms with enemies that just refuse to die. It's quite rude. There we go, one more wormy. Cool. I mean, heck it, we'll just fight the boss now. Big horn, all right. Luckily, our damage is pretty decent. So he should die decently quick without hitting us, please. Oh god, the bomb! That's a sad bomb, okay. Right, I forgot, he throws like all different kinds of bombs. Just kind of spooky. We're good. And he's dead. Cool. Alright, kill the ball. Beautiful angel deal. Heck, I can't see my items. Tropic on my side is huge. Uh, what the heck is this? But also, yes. I've never seen that room before, but that's a lot of health. Alright. So, we're probably... I, if I had to hazard a guess, we're probably going to take two damage on this fight. We'll probably be able to get a second boy. I mean, obviously, if I can avoid it, that would be great, but it's me. Come on. Yeah, I should know me by now. If you've seen, like, especially if you've seen all 130, what is this, five episodes now? You should know I'm gonna take damage on this fight. Oh god. Here we're good. Honestly, take a bomb, please. Yes, okay, that did literally nothing. Sick, don't use bombs, good to know. Bombs do nothing against- <sighs> Alright, use it. Give me the boys, please. Just, just kill this guy. I don't have the time for this. I gotta go. Give me that key piece, though. Thank you. Okay. I don't got time. I don't got time. Just go, just go, just go. All right, cool. Uh, we still need... I, I, if we don't get an item room, I don't think we're going to win this run, honestly. Ah, oh, but we gotta go. Pain. Speedruns are agony because they don't let you explore, you know? I want to explore everything. I want to see all the garbage that this game has to offer on this run. Because the only thing we've gotten going for us right now is basically, like, just Nun's Habit early on. I guess 8 Inch Nails is a massive damage pickup, but like, still, you know what I mean. Which, oh. Pain. Dude, just die, please. I don't have time for this. Yes, okay, finally, item room. And also a room with just flies. You see how much easier this is compared to the other floors? Or the other fights that we have to do? Alright, what do we got? Camo undies. You know what? Not terrible. Not fantastic, but not terrible. I mean, if I could just get, like, I don't know, Nod Leaf and some kind of, I don't know, destroying item that would hurt enemies, that'd be nice. It wouldn't be good for a speedrun, but it would be good. So Camo Undies, enemies can't see us until we actually, like, hurt them. Or until we actually, like, shoot once on the room. Like, right now we're invisible, they don't know where we are. Now they know where we are because I shot. But I mean, I, I gave a quick two-second descriptor. After that, I gotta heck and go, because this is a speedrun, after all. So we're probably not gonna make very much use of it. It's very good for, like, if you want to take it nice and slow, because the enemies are, you know, hurting you a lot, or, you know, in, in case you want to analyze what the heck is in the room before it absolutely destroys you. And, you know, Camo Undies is pretty good. Here's our shop. I mean, we do have four keys. We might as well, right? 
mean, four keys isn't a lot, actually. I don't know. Do I even want to? Probably. Heck it. Compass. There's just options. Blow these guys up. Really? You're gonna... All right, fine. Give me two more cents, please. Okay, or you can just give me that much. Uh, all right, so we're going to get... Heckin' more options. I forget which one's which, so I just chose a 50-50. Heck it, key. Uh, lead pencil. Sure. Isn't like every 12 shots it does a mega shoot? Ooh, that's actually really good with Lilith. Alright, luckily we got a spirit heart, so we're gonna keep our, you know, our deal chance, which is nice. Yeah, that's that's a really good pickup for Lilith, because, I mean, when we got two boys shooting, that's gonna be twice as many, twice as many big poo-poos, so... Pew-pews, not poo-poos, by the way. If I could just get, like, a massive tears up, that'd be great. Uh, heck, it will take the trail. Forget what it does, but I, I skipped it a couple runs ago, and now I feel bad about it. So, I'm gonna grab it. We got both our item room and our shop, and I didn't get hurt there? Okay. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Where the heck is this guy? Please, just hit. Dude, the rock man's inside of my tears. Alright, we're good. Speed run. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Just don't get laser beams or hit by the guys. Honestly, if I can just get, like, two good pencils in here, easy. Yeah, the pencil is actually a huge amount of damage. But if I could just, like, get that to pierce or just a massive tears up or something, that'd be huge. What do you got? Angel deal? Devil deal. Pain. Magic scab, sure. The health up. You guys aren't good enough for me. Let's go. I mean, multi-dimensional multi baby would be super duper fun. But we do still want Mega Satan. Because, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to make it. Also, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I'm pretty sure this is the mom fight. So, we got five minutes to beat mom, basically. Five minutes to beat mom, and then we get boss rush. You know, the uh, the pencil is actually really, really, really nice. So, I'm very glad that I spent that key in that bomb. I think it's worth it. I do still need some kind of survivability, though. Which I usually suck with. I, I usually suck at getting it and also keeping it. Oh, God, I can't shoot that guy. He's too close to me. He's too close to me. Oh, God. Pain. All right. Luckily, Betrayal is nice. Uh, there goes all of our angel chants, by the way. I guess if I wanted Mega Satan, there goes that. Seeker room? No. Oh, all right. Go, 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 go. Uh, heck it, we'll use it. I, I need to start using Box of Friends more. Since it literally doubles our damage, probably even more because of the pencil. It, since, since it probably does more than double our damage, I probably should use it more. Also, I forgot. I forgot that we have Cambient Conception, so we got uh, we got Wormy Boy, who will give us a bunch of health. So, we should definitely... We should definitely, you know, re remember that we have Cambient Conception. I mean, I don't know if it's guaranteed. Every time we have Cambient Conception, we always get Wormy first, though. We always, we always get the leech, if you want to go for his formal name. Also, heck you little pins! Heck you little pins! Stop! Thank you. I don't know how much health we're at, and that's gonna absolutely suck for- Okay, uh, uh, huge damage up or the wafer? I gotta go for the wafer. Oh, dude, that is- that's literally just two god-tier, s-tier items. I feel so bad for not taking Cricket's head when it's given to me, but, like, the wafer is just too fat. The wafer is literally just too large. Now everything that would do a full heart of damage only does a half heart. Okay, well, luckily we still have red hearts by the looks of it, and I know we had three, so we've got at least three red hearts. That much I can guarantee. We still got three minutes. Careful, careful. I don't have the speed to make it through this in one push, so we're just going to take it nice and slow. Here's our shop, and we do have a golden key. Might as well check it out, right? Uh, nothing good in here at all. I guess we'll blow this guy up for, I don't know, angel chance. I don't know. <laughs> Something along those lines. 7.2% chance. It's not the worst I've ever gotten it with. I'm pretty sure I've gotten it once with like a 1% chance, which was absolutely insane. I don't think it had any good deals, but, you know, it's just a miracle that I got it in the first place. All right, boss fight should be right around this corner somewhere. Oh god. Try to camp behind this rock. It's so hard to hit things as Lilith, though. <laughs> so hard to hit things. Because it's so much harder to aim when you're you're shooting with a follower. Careful of that. Like, what do you got? Power pill. All right, well, I mean, 
Probably should have used it in a different room, but I was just afraid of paralysis, so I'm fine with power pill being used there. I mean, now we know we've got a power pill in the rotation. That's nice. Still haven't lost red hearts, which is very, very important. Here's the boss fight, finally. And uh, we're at 18 and a half minutes, so we should be good. Also, I don't know, do I want to use spacebar for mom? Honestly, I think we don't use... I mean, we're probably going to get hit a bunch. Yeah, we might as well use the heck it. We might as well use the box of friends for, for mom. Well, I, I think if we do get an angel deal, we're not going to be able to... We're, we're not going to be able to, like, actually fight the statue. We're going to take the item and immediately go, because we're not... We're probably going to have, like, 10 seconds after beating mom. What? I need her to appear, though. Can't hit her if you don't appear. My dude. Alright, we're gonna make it. Alright, 19 minutes. So we got one minute left to kill mom. She's definitely gonna die within that time, unless she absolutely cucks me, which wouldn't surprise me. It do be mom. There we go. A little bit of pain, but it's fine. No deal, which is whatever. Uh... Honestly, I think we take the negative because the damage up. I, I won't have the shield, so I think we take the damage up just so that we have a chance of surviving. Uh, all of these suck. You know, you know, you know, and you... I guess you're the best. Damage up. Oh, what is this first wave? These are my two least favorite bosses in the game. Are you kidding me? This is no way to start boss rush. You piece of garbage. Two laser boys where it's like impossible to dodge. You kidding me? What the heck, game? Deet, bro. I am I am upset at what even hit me. I don't even, dude. I suck nuts. Please, leech. I need some health. I'm pretty sure we're down red health now. This, that was the absolute worst start to a boss rush I've ever seen. You know what, leech? Get in there. Heck it, leech. You kill him, so you give me health. Please, I need it. Please, leech, bro. All right, fine, I'll kill him, whatever. All right, well, luckily, Nun's Habit makes this maybe possible. You know what? No, 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 no. Let the leeches do it. I know it's going to take a little bit longer, but let the leeches do Because <sighs> they'll heal me. And now we got four leeches going around, which is pretty nice, honestly. There we go. Okay, they're they're healing me. They're healing me. I, I saw the health up. I just keep dodging. Let the leeches do their things. They'll, they'll keep healing me. So when in when in doubt, leech out. Okay, let the leeches do all the damage that I heal. There we go. Okay, we should be full health now, I'm pretty sure. There we go. When in doubt, let the leeches do everything. So luckily, now that we got four boys all with the pencil, it's like we have a constant monstro's lung going on, which is pretty nice. Also, all my leeches are stuck in poop. I mean, fair. Same. Alright, these rocks are kind of annoying, so I kind of appreciate this guy for getting rid of them. Yeah, the more we take damage and the more rounds we do, the more boys we're going to have. So we're going to have, like, probably eight leeches by the end of this, if we make it all the way, of course. They're just going to constantly be giving us health, which is our really our only form of survivability. So, leech, thank you. We got where? What is it? Where's the boss? There it is. Hey, Pin. Wow, Pin just got destroyed. What's up, idiot? Yeah, no, we're kind of just... I mean, imagine if we had multi-dimensional, maybe. I kind of regret not taking it now. But I mean, there there is still a chance that we could get Mega Satan, so. Oh. Man, a leech is heckin' poppin' right now. I'm loving this guy. He's big vibin'. Let's try to kill the dark one first. <clears throat> AKA the guy whose name I totally don't forget. Those rocks suck. Yeah, get in there, leech. Yeah, you get him, buddy. Yeah, you get him, buddy. You you give me that health. Woo! My man. Alright, so our damage is insane now. Because we have like six times 8.3 damage. And then also the pencil. And then also, you know, the leech is the the, the, the leech army. So yeah, Lilith runs can be pretty fun. I, if I didn't have the nun's habit, this would be literally 10 times worse. So, nun's habit is absolutely, well, not 10 times, more like three times worse. But nun's habit is such a hard carry right now. Giving us all this... All these leeches and all these boys. There we go. I'd kill him. He's dead. Now we kill this guy. Nine inch nails. <laughs> Look at the amount of nails. 
Honestly, I think I know what I'm gonna call... As, as someone who did roofing last summer as a job, I think I know what I'm gonna call this run. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call it something like tile or roofing. It's just honestly, because there, it was just constant nails every three seconds, because you gotta... Every single, you know, shingle. Every single shingle's gotta be nailed down. So it was just a constant stream of nails. You know what? This is kind of what it reminds me of. Yeah, just look how fast we killed Ragman. Literally dead in an instant. Come on, pop up, nerd. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, this is fun. Just get them in a line. There's another one. We just got a big conga line of heckin' nails. Yeah, so I'm ho- I mean, Delirium, we're gonna have a lot- Oh, God. Delirium, we're gonna have a lot less boys, obviously, because, I mean, Delirium doesn't have waves, sadly. But yeah, we kind of- oh, dude, stop taking damage. Luckily, the leech is still healing us, but, like, pain, dude. I think we're at 10 now? Are we at, are we at 10 boys? Well, 10 of each boys, I guess? Because we're kind of just filling the room with tears, and I like it. I'm not complaining at all. a shower of nails. Oh, yeah, no, this, this, this run works. I'll, I'll take this. I mean, especially if we can beat Boss Rush, I'll take it even more. Okay, well, we're full on Red Hearts by the looks of it, so the leeches are doing a fantastic job of keeping me alive. Because I know I'm not. Alright, let's try to line them up a bit. Now oh, we can kill everything pretty easily. Hey, Gertie. Ow. I guess Mama Gertie. There's another one. Just keep stacking them on. Give me more, the more the merrier. We go, there we go. Immaculate Conception has appeared in the basement. We also got E. coli, which is a terrible item. But uh, I just want to see, how many boys do we have? Let's try to stretch them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got 12 boys. That's also like 12 leeches and everything too. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. God, it looks so goofy, I love it. That's adorable. All right, well, let's uh, go to the next floor, I guess, right? Yeah, all right, cool. Cool, hopefully it doesn't go absolutely terribly. Uh, luckily, we don't need to do Hush, because we're not making that anytime soon. Uh, so we just need Delirium and Mega Satan. So we're looking for an Angel deal. We've got a 42% chance. Luckily, we're not speedrunning anymore, which is another bonus of not needing to do Hush. And I guess we'll see what happens. That Wow, already taken damage, sick. Well, luckily, we got the Wafer. I'm, I'm very, 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 very glad we have the wafer. That makes Delirium maybe possible. He, he might be possible now. It's going to be hard, but he might be possible. Because Delirium absolutely sucks. Right, come on. But if we have double the health, that'll help. I can't hit this guy. He's too tight in the corner. Please, dude. Bro. Yes, Leech, get in there. You know what? I'll let you handle it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the health as well. Oh, I'm just... Oh, yes! Campion Conception paid off. Let's go! Campion Conception gave us heckin' Dark Bum. Alright, well, now the run's won. Also, I think that's like the first time I've ever said that in a recording where I didn't mess it up. Usually I say, like, the one is run, the, the run is run, the one's one, like... Usually I mess it up somehow. But that time I didn't. Yay, progress! Maybe I'm just getting better at recording, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I'm probably gonna go in there, honestly, because I can. I mean, what are you going to be? Wheel of Fortune. You know what? Hag it. Oh, we'll go in here already. YOLO. Wheel of Fortune. Not going to give me anything cool. Figured as much. Heck you. Flies, sure. A lot of heckin' poopy boys. Big old poopy boys. Not a fan of it, but luckily we're not speedrunning anymore, so... You know, I got time. Leech is going to heal us up a crap ton. So that's nice. But yeah, honestly, it, I don't think I can get it anymore because there's no more shops. But if I could get, like, 4.5 volt... Ooh, that would be spicy. Oh, what the... Oh, okay. Poop was still there. I thought Leech got him, like, an hour ago. I guess not. Yeah, I don't think it's possible, but 4.5 volt would be great. Also, Leech, get in there. Give me that health, boy. There, I'll shoot up here. You, you kill that guy. I'll kill these guys. Come on. You can do it. There you go. That's the one. Dude, Leech is great. I like Leech. He's vibing. Also, is it every kill he gets? I thought it was like 1 in 12 kills. Maybe that. Maybe I'm just thinking of like the vampire ability thingamajigger. Because like it seems like Leech is giving me health every single time he kills something. And I mean, I appreciate it. Very nice. 
gonna be hard for delirium and stuff, but like, you know, it'll be fine. Because, I mean, you know, obviously, delirium, there's not... I mean, I guess he does summon enemies. So, technically... Technically, delirium could summon enemies for us. Also, this is a tears up, I remember. The one on the left, I think, was bad, but the one on the right is good. We'll take tears up. Thank you. That's absolutely massive. Imagine if I had, like, maximum tears rate. Oh, God, I hate this room. I don't even care. Just, I got the wafer. Just, heck, you go away. Go. All right, we're good. Oh, I hate that room. Burning passion. Absolutely disgusting. Where the heck is my boss fight? Oh god. Yeah, that's expected. I mean, luckily, betrayal seems really good. Whenever an enemy hits me, they all just, like, want to attack each other. Which, I mean, in my opinion, is better than them trying to attack me. That guy pop out. Thank you. Definitely better than them trying to attack me. Empress. Uh, that's a damage up, right? For sure, Empress is a damage up for, like, the rest of the room. So that's really good for like saving for it lives or delirium or mega Satan, whatever. I'll probably save like the Empress until the very end of the run, unless we get something better, obviously. Also, I'm just going to try to weaken these guys and then let the leech finish them. That way I can get some health because I'm pretty low. Come on, leech, you can do it. Yeah, that's the one. Get him, leech. Okay, I guess he can't kill them alone. I'll hit it one more time. Ah, dang it. I'm just trying to feed my boy. Trying to keep him alive, you know? Also keep myself alive, because I can Isaac whack sometimes. Alright, but luckily we do have Dark Bum. So, Red Hearts are very important to us now. I mean, Red Hearts are already important, because we've only got Red Hearts. We don't have any Blue Hearts or anything. Which kind of sucks for, like, our Angel Chance. But I mean... I'd rather have only red hearts than only blue hearts. Because at least red hearts you can refill. Especially with the leech. There you go. Uh, I guess we'll fight the boss, because heck it. What's up, nerd? That's right, there's two of me. What are you going to do about it? Probably hit me a bunch. You son of a... Alright, well we got a 0.3% chance for a deal with an angel now. So I don't know, maybe there's a chance. Maybe. One in 400 runs will get it. Also, wow, why am I framing out? There we go. My, all my frames just died in the same second. It's fine. All right. Come on. Eh, no. All right. Hey, Mr. Dolly. No, I wanted that. You know what? It's fine. Fine. You can you can have him. It's okay. Uh, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. So let's go to the next floor. Yeah. All right. All right. Not going for hush. I mean, it's too late, obviously. Obviously, so it doesn't really matter. What do you got? One coin for two keys. All right, one coin for one key. That's still a bad trade, but whatever. Uh, luckily, we do have protection now for a deal with the angel. This is the last floor that we can get a deal with the angel. So, really, really hoping we get to keep it. All right, leech is... You know what? I'm just going to let the leech farm here. Let him give me a bunch of health. All right, kill the ones that get close to me, though, because heck them. There we go. One more. I'll open it up for you, buddy. Get in there. Yeah, my man. Beautiful. All right, now we can kill everything. I know it would be extremely overpowered, but I kind of wish the leech would, like, drop hearts on the floor if, uh, if I were full. Like, I know that would be extremely overpowered, but, like, imagine, imagine what could happen. I mean, you could also really farm it. I don't know, maybe they should, like, reprogram it so maybe an enemy that spawns other enemies can only do it once. Also, little pins, because heck you guys. I don't know. Or maybe summoned enemies just don't give hearts. I don't know. Maybe, I'm, I'm sure the game knows what it's doing. Once again, I can't judge the game. It's had thousands of hours put into it, and I'm just a newbie. Oh, God. Just wait until it passes. There we go. And then follow them. Just follow them, and you'll be fine. You don't get hit by the spikes. Don't get hit by the spikes. Don't walk on the spikes. And we're good. Okay. Luckily, we have the wafer, which is still insane. Oh god. Wafer is still gonna be fantastic for this run because instead of having, you know, eight hearts, we have. Wait, wait are we at? Yeah. Instead of having eight hearts, we actually have 16. Because, you know, everything's half damage. Which is super duper nice. Especially when I'm pooping my pants thinking about fighting Delirium. 
Because that just sounds like a bad time, if you ask me. Both pooping your pants and fighting delirium. I kind of want the fool, honestly, for Mega Satan. Because if we fight Mega Satan and don't get the delirium portal, then we can teleport out of it. You know? Although, I don't even know. Because, like, last time we killed delirium, or last time we killed Mega Satan, it actually just teleported us out of the run. So I don't know, I feel like I've done that strategy before, but maybe I just like, had it ready and then didn't actually use it? Uh, oh, Magician's hot. Magician's so- alright, I think we take the Magician to the boss. I don't know, like honestly. I, I think we take the Empress for this boss fight, and then we come back and get the Magician for the final boss fight. Because I think Magician's better than Empress. I'd rather hit all my shots than make each shot do like, 10% more. Seeing as how I probably have a terrible accuracy rate. Alright, luckily these guys are for some reason stuck on a rock. I'll, I mean, I'm not complaining, I'll take it. There we go, what do you got, dice room? A two, that re-rolls re consumables on the floor. In mean, AWAS, what do you want to give me? Just a regular, alright, next floor. I mean, I could just fight the next floor. I don't have to do anything, but I mean, we do need the angel deal for Mega Satan. I don't know, what would I rather fight? Mega Satan? Or Delirium. Honestly, I feel like I'd rather do Delirium. Delirium, in my opinion, is a much harder boss. And also rarer to get. I mean, at least with Mega Satan, you can not guarantee your chances, but you can direct your run into having a much, much higher chance. Delirium is literally just like a, a chance that you get him. There's no way to guarantee it other than doing Hush. Which is, if, if I can avoid Hush on a run, that, that's a good run to me. Oh god. Ah, tight. Tight. Tight squeeze. No, My boy shot them towards me. Alright, whatever. We still got two black hearts. Just do not lose them no matter what. Or else you soil this run. I do not want to lose my chance for heckin' Mega Satan. And once again, I'd rather fight Delirium than Mega Satan, but you know, you know what I mean. Still pain. Still pain. These guys are welcome to come to me anytime. I'm honestly going to use this here. I don't usually use it, but I'll use it here. Yeah, honestly, I, I think the leech is like a great carry of this run. He's been healing us out the wazoo. Which I guess is, is an advantage to Lilith that I never really thought about. I, I thought the leech was bad. Because I thought it healed you like every 12 kills it got, or like every 6 or something. But no, it seems to be every single kill it gets it gives you a half heart, which is actually massive. Hello. Alright, we're still not getting many red hearts, which kind of stinks. I would love to get more red hearts. I uh, can't do these. Heck, alright, I guess when we take damage, we can get another boy. Okay, well, there we go. We got another boy. <laughs> it's just that easy. Just do what I did. If you're ever losing all your Isaac runs, just do what I did. Just take damage on purpose, right? Winky face, that was on purpose, yeah? We, we're, all, we're all on the same page here? Yeah? Alright, just checking. Alright, well luckily this guy should die after not too long. Thank you, Blackheart. Perfect angel deal? Angel deal, let's go. You love to see it. Alright, let's grab this spirit heart before I lose it. Uh, is that Star of Bethlehem? That Star of Bethlehem, let's go. <sighs> I didn't see them behind the angel statue, but it's fine. You know what, now we got a space bar, it's okay. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Steal damage, where the heck is my Star of Bethlehem? Is, is it random? I don't think I've ever gotten it on a regular non-greedier run. I always get them on greedier runs. Uh, okay, no, I guess, I guess it's just, I guess it is random? Oh, that's weird. It, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I definitely want it for, like, Mega Satan. Also, I will take the long way around. I'm pretty lazy. But I'm gonna take the long way around, because heck that room. Heck that room, and heck everything it stands for. We didn't even use our Empress card, so, whatever. Our damage is pretty good, we don't need it. So we're gonna take the Magician. That's not what I pushed, hello? What? My keyboard disconnected? What? Oh, I guess I somehow accidentally Alt-Tabbed, even though I didn't push Alt and or Tab. Okay, all right, fine, whatever. I've seen worse. I've had worse things happen to me, so I guess I can't complain too much. Luckily, we do still have a bunch of blue and black hearts, although they're completely useless now. Not useless, they'll protect us, but like, you know, they're not refillable like red hearts. Honestly, I would just love, like, 12 red hearts. Give me 12 red hearts, and I think we win this run. 
And I think we're going to win it anyways, because we're just gods of this game. Uh, we took the negative. There we go down. Going down, yelling Timber Star of Bethlehem. Absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10 item. Especially on greedy mode runs. It just increases your tears rate a crap ton. And also gives you a whole bunch of damage up. It's just so good. It also gives you homing shots. I don't know why they made it so overpowered, but it's just great. Come on, buddy. Pop up, pop up, pop up, please. Thank you. It's so strong. Equality. I... Wait, what does equality even do? Does it just... I don't even know. All right, it's just built different. We'll take umbilical cord. I don't know. Heck it. Man, a star Bethlehem. I love this item. One of my favorites, honestly. Is it? Wait, does it lead? Wait a minute. Does it lead you to the boss fight? Wait a minute. What the? Oh, I thought the room was over. I thought you'd stop. I. What if it leads you to the boss fight? In which case, this game, this item is even better than I thought. Oh, I've only ever gotten it on greedier mode runs. Only ever gotten it on greedier mode runs. Also, we have a golden key, so we'll get this. Let's hack it. Boop. Chest? Pencil? No. <laughs> I already got the pencil. I swear, if this takes me to the boss fight, I'm gonna heckin'. I'm, I'm gonna write a steam. <gasps> it does! It actually leads you to the boss fight. What? So that's why it always stays in that one spot on greedier mode runs. Oh, wait. It moves at its own pace, too? Oh, that's so cool. It moves at its own pace, so if you're faster than it, it takes a while to get here. I gotta test my skills. Let's go. Still got it. So, like, is it gonna come around in a second? Because I think it just goes at it. Yeah, here it is! Oh my goodness, that's so cool. That's such an awesome item. I love it. Also, stop taking damage, you weenie. Alright, well, we're just gonna take damage once, guaranteed, because I just want to kill this guy. Alright, well, it's gonna be hard to hit him with Star Bethlehem now, because he's just gonna chase me around. I guess we can like pre-fire a little bit, which apparently works. Cool. And uh, sadly no void. So I guess we will... You got anything? No? Alright, we'll go to the next floor. I don't know, like even if we get good deal with the devil items from our chest, do we want to take them? Probably not. Unless there's something like really good. That's... nah. Do just a shadow, nah. Nah. Or Babylon maybe, but also very much nah. So I guess... Heck, Star Bethlehem is going to go the wrong way, so I guess we don't have him for this fight. At least we have our Magician, so... I mean, I guess we Mega Satan, right? We use Space Bar, we use the Magician, and then we just go to heckin' town on this boy. And hopefully we'll kill him. And maybe, you know, on a good run, he'll, uh, he'll, give, us he'll give us Delirium afterwards. Alright, so he does spawn bosses that I can try to get the Leech to finish, but I highly doubt it's going to happen. Also, homing shots is honestly kind of annoying, because now I'm just going to shoot his hands the whole time, until they're dead. Oh god, oh god, that's not good, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is very bad. Thank you, Wafer. Go, I'm taking too much damage. You know what, now we got three boys, it's fine. It's fine, because now we're OP. Now we got three boys with eight-inch nails, so they're going to get absolutely destroyed. And homing shots still, because all the future boys also have homing shots. Oh god. We're fine. We're fine. Oh god, our damage is good. It's okay. Oh, I'm too slow. I can't dodge him. Come on, just, just die. I mean, the more damage we take, the even stronger we'll get, so... This guy's just kind of hecked, honestly. Laser beam? Not laser beam. Okay. I guess it's honestly just a heckin' scary boss, dude. Scary boss, dude. Don't even need to put a comma in there. It's just straight up the truth. Oh god, taking damage, it's fine. Fine, one more damage, we get another boy. But I guess another like four boys because we're built different. There we go, Leech got a kill. I, I, ah, the Leech is full, okay, we're good. Yeah, luckily he's gonna give us like these intermissions in the fight where we'll just fight enemies. And sometimes the Leeches will kill them and just heal me up. Like Envy right there is an absolutely beautiful boss to fight. I mean, it's not flawless because we do still have to kill him. And he could still hurt us, you never know. It, it do be envy. Alright. Luckily our damage is really good right now. I, I honestly kind of wish we had more damage. I mean, I know I know we're like gods right now. We're, we're literal gods, but I mean... 
We're only at 8.3, which honestly is not that much damage. 8.3 damage is not that much. It's just the fact that we, like, shoot five times is what's giving us all our damage. So yeah, Nun's Habit, S tier, Floor 1 pickup here. So this guy will die. He's kind of just... I don't think that should have hit me, but you know what? You do, boo. Alright. So he should, you know, take a whole bunch of damage. I'm honestly surprised he's not in Phase 2. There, okay. Alright. I was going to say, like, we do a crap ton of damage. What is happening down there? Do you guys see that? It looked like someone was putting a sausage in a blender down there. What just happened? <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, this is kind of a great way to take damage. Just have him do that attack. Luckily, we're still going to pop in a good way, I hope. Come on, stop, 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 stop. It's too tight. Okay, we're good. So that was extremely close, but we're fine. We know what we're doing. We still got a bunch of health, and hopefully he'll summon more enemies, another envy or something that would hit him, or that would heal me, not hit him. Come on, delirium fight. You know you want to give it to me. You know you want to give me delirium. Like, come on, you know you want to give it to me. Come on, come on. You wouldn't say no to me, would you? Come on, give me the port. Stop it with the weird meat explosions. I don't know what it is. <gasps> yes, I got delirium. Heck yeah, dude. You want to give me something? No? All right. Man, Dark Bomb has been quite stingy. I mean, I know I'm not getting very many red hearts to give him, but like, gosh darn. Big Baby has appeared in the basement. Dang, bro. Didn't know I was in the game. All right, luckily we have Star Bethlehem now. So we are, we are going to follow this. This way we know where the delirium fight is. It, it's going to be pretty slow. But if we follow it, we know where the Delirium fight is, and then we know what boss fight to avoid until the very end of the floor. So, Star Bethlehem, just pack an S tier item over here. What do you got? Hill. Full health? Health down. You son of a... Alright. I trusted you, man. I trusted you so hard, and then you just do me like that. Alright. Understandable. Sorry, bud. Let's grab all these. Maybe get some black hearts in the process. Apparently not. Oh god. I cannot lose Star Bethlehem. I gotta keep up. Go, 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 go. Alright. Keep up. Do not lose Star Bethlehem. It is the carry on this run. I mean, I know obviously Nun's Habit is the carry, but like, you know, Star Bethlehem is also a fantastic item. Also, honestly, oh, I really want to... I'm, I'm gonna use this here. That way the leech can pop off. There we go. You're good, buddy. Spirit Heart. I'm gonna save that. Okay. Don't lose it. 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 I don't care if I take damage, honestly. Just do not lose it. Alright. So this is this is the boss fight. This is Delirium. That's incredibly good to know. Please kill that guy. Thank you. Alright. So do not go in this room no matter what. Nice. That is some fantastic information. Now, sadly... We're not going to have, you know, we're, we're not going to have the, the fun item, aka Star of Bethlehem, until, until we go back to Delirium, but it'll be waiting for us. It'll be ready. Ah, I get what you got. Hello, it lives. Honestly, kind of a sucky boss to fight right now, but whatever. I think our damage has gotten better since the last time. Also, uh, Cambion Conception gave us two Incubi, which is very nice. It'll give us a bunch of damage. We took damage, but whatever. Uh, don't you give hearts? Mr. Maggie, don't you? No, you just shoot. All right, well, I guess it's more things to stack on top of each other. More more fun for Lilith, you know? The more followers we have, the more things we double, the more things we triple, the more things we quadruple. It's just how it be. All right, this guy hopefully should die. Cool. to do i honestly should probably let the leech pop off here but i mean honestly incubus is gonna make it a lot harder for the leech to pop off which kind of stinks but hey what are you gonna do because i would love for the leech to you know give us more damage or i guess give us more health more specifically but you know it's gonna be hard now <sighs> oh god okay i really need some health now all right it's it's time give me some hp you need to, okay thank you ceremonial robes damage and massive hp up three black hearts i'll take it Heck yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you, game. Red heart? No red heart. 
Yeah, next Red Heart, uh, heck Dark Bum, he's been, he's been being a weenie, so next Red Heart goes to me. Heck that guy. Uh, we did fight that boss. Cool. Uh, we got a bunch of bombs. We might as well blow these up. Black heart. Black heart. No, no black heart. It's cool. I can just check. Hard that I can't see what it is. Sick. Do, 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 do. This guy will die real slowly because, you know, honestly, I'm going to use this here. Heck it. Who knows, maybe the leech will pop off at some random time and give us a damage up and we just won't even know it. Or not a damage up, but like health. Maybe it'll give us health. In a time where we won't expect it. Please kill that guy, thank you. Alright. Uh, over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for max health. That way we can get more... More of uh, the box charges. Hoping for as much health as physically possible, but I mean, you guys could probably assume that by now. How far are we? 47 minutes. Delirium runs are just so long. They're just so long. Uh, what what would Campion Conception even give us next? I don't know if we've gotten any more than this. I don't know if we've gone further than Incubus. Bonk. Uh, Red Hearts? Petrified Poop. I, mean, I don't even, I mean, I guess, sure, maybe it could give us, I don't know, we might shoot some, we might shoot some poops on the void. It's possible. Not likely, but it's possible. But yeah, so Incubus is literally just a, a worse star of Bethlehem, but it does still give damage when I step in it. I mean, to be fair, it also does damage when other, like, enemies step in it, but, eh, hey, what are you gonna do? Also, our first speed up of the run. Massive little pins. Little pins! Oh, God! Stop being confused and let me shoot you. Thank you. All right. There we go. No idea where any... What? How? What? Did he suck me in? What just happened there? Hello? I didn't even, like, move. Like, I I only touched a tiny bit of the W key, but I didn't move to the left at all. I don't know how he hit me there. Uh, sure, we'll take bot fly. That's real nice. Oh, dude, I needed that, but thank you. Thanks for the black heart, but I really want the red heart. Pain. All right, there we go. Leech got a kill. Finally, thank you. Thank you, Leech. Keep getting in there, King. I believe. Also, I'm just going to use this here because there's a lot of enemies. Yeah, so luckily, another bonus we're going to have is when we're fighting Delirium, we're going to have, like, six different, like, Incubi just, like, flying around the room. Triple A battery. Beautiful. It's a battery item, so you know it's good. All right, heck these guys. God, yeah, 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 okay, we're good, hello. What do you got? Hey, big guy, you wanna die immediately? Probably not, God, don't hit me. I can't handle that, I'm sensitive, all right? Very sensitive boy. All right, there we go, you guy's dead. Nice, anything, uh, no? Ooh, mine, yes. Heck you guys, dibs, remote detonator, not that good. Definitely nothing compared to the heckin' box. Alright. Anything? Bomb. Crawl space? No oh, crawl space. Oh wow, we're fighting mom. We're fighting It Lives three times this run, and also Mom's Heart. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I might as well use this. Heck it. Yeah, so double bot fly. I, I think honestly, now bot fly is gonna be our best survivability item. Mom's tampon. No, or mom's pad, not tampon. There we go. Mom's pad, not that good. I mean, we could still get the mom transformation, which would be, I don't know, nice, I guess, having the knife. I don't know. Wouldn't make that big of a difference, in my opinion. Do, 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 do. Just clearing everything. Still kind of sad we didn't get, like, you know, the compass or any map items, but. I can't be too picky. This is a great run. We've gotten so many, uh, so many followers. We are just, we're just doing good over here. I can't complain too much. Or else I would sound ungrateful and then Isaac would just give me an item to absolutely heck me over, like accidentally give me Bob's brain or something, and then I'm just destroyed on the inside and the outside. Alright, looking for more boss fights. We've gotten five so far. At least we know where Delirium is, so thank goodness for Star of Bethlehem. Because knowing me, I would have beelined it straight there, and it would have been my first boss fight. And I wouldn't have gotten bot fly or ceremonial robes or anything, so... 
Doing good, doing good. Incubus is honestly gonna kill these guys, but I might as well make it go faster. Yo, don't you give a blue heart? You do not give a blue heart, weenie. All right, there's still two, like three directions to go-ish. We got a bunch of keys. I thought I destroyed you, I guess not. Game Boy thing is honestly not bad, but I don't need it. I'll take this. I I'd rather trickle charge, honestly. More blue hearts. Yes, just give me more health. You could give me like Polyphemus and Lump of Coal, but honestly, all I want right now is more health. Because more health will give us more damage than that stuff ever could. Also, I don't know if Incubus stacks. Like, if I stand underneath the aura of, or Incubi, like the bouncy boy that's right next to me, if I stand next to four of them, will I just get, like, four times the damage? I guess, like, I think each one of them, each one of them adds, like, 50%. By the looks of it, it's 50%. But I technically, also, would it stack? Like, would I get 50% damage and then 75% damage after that one? Or would I get 25%? Or would just keep adding on 50 to my base damage. The things we'll probably never know because I'll too I'll, I'll be too busy dying to delirium to actually test it. There we go. We got two more paths to go, and well, technically only one path, but now it's now it's one path. Perfect. I can't grab that. So what do you got? A pill. What do you got? Pheromones. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. There we go, another red heart. Nothing yet. Still got a bit to go. The void is just, it's literally like three XL floors. The void is just absolutely massive when it comes to size. I mean, it's kind of a good thing, but also kind of a spooky thing because, you know, it's the final floor of the game. It's heckin' terrifying. Every, every corner is another new room that could be any floor in the game. Luckily, it doesn't, like, randomize the boss fights. Also, Power Pill's not bad. Well, we'll take Power Pill to the boss fight unless we get... Oh, Magician would be great. Ah, no, we'll have Star of Bethlehem. Oh, what do I... What, what card would I want, really? Honestly, just give me a simple damage card. I mean, honestly, the Magician would be good because I can't always be in the Star of Bethlehem. But it's just, like, I don't know, the Empress. Death. That Death is the one that gives you damage, right? I don't know, probably. There we go, there's that. What are you? Shot speed down. Alright, that doesn't matter that much. Double pheromones. Well, I guess one pheromones. Blackheart, please. Not yet. Alright, cool. Check him. I'm just counting on this boy to give me all of the black hearts. Literally every black heart. If I go into the boss fight with 12 health, I can almost guarantee Delirium's gonna die. Sure. Black heart? Uphill. Luck down. Dude, stop giving me garbage, please. This guy's been feeding me with so much garbage. I think he's given me two black hearts total, and then after that, it's just been hot garbage. I don't ask for much, man. Just give me literally everything that I want. Ooh, Hierophant. Massive card. Okay, there we go. That's big. That's a chonky pickup. Oh, God. Little pins should not be in this room. I think the worms are enough. Okay, what do you got? Shoelace. Honestly, Child Leash might be good. It keeps all the boys really close to you. Like, all your followers stay really close to you. It's honestly not bad. Because now that everyone's close to me, it's easier to shoot. Oh god, that was close. I don't know why that last one didn't explode. I think it was Botfly, but... You know what? Thanks, bud. Alright, the lamb does have a lot of health. Extinguish the fire so we can't see. Also, it do they do stack. And it looks like... Wait a minute. They do stack, and they do add on... They don't add to your base damage. They add to your current damage. Wait a minute. Incubus? With heckin' Box of Friends, S tier? Because the first one gives 4.6, and then the second one gives 6.4. Also, Skatole. Not good, but not bad. That could be an insane combo. If I can get... If I can get one more battery item to get, like, six... Six Incubi going around, also just go, 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 go! Oh. If you hesitate for even a second on that one, you're just hecked. Uh, I don't want pheromones. I want power pill. Seems better in my opinion for delirium. Better, better as a panic button. We will clear all the rooms just in case. I don't know. Wants to give me a blue heart or something. Maybe the game wants to be nice. I don't know. That'd be nice. I have no idea what these guys are doing. They're all okay. I am confused how that hit me, but sure. There we go. I'm. <laughs> 
If you think I'm insane enough to go searching for the secret room, by the way, you're insane. Also, strength card, that is the one we want. Damage up and a health up, what about you? Double strength card, all right, interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. If I somehow manage to teleport out of the room, I guess we got a backup. Sounds good to me. Hey guys, please die. Thank you, meat boy. What about you? Luck down. Stop it with the luck downs. It's a pain. All right, well, I guess it's time. We've got strength, we've got power, and we've got resilience, and I've got a whole bunch of tears that are waiting to come out because delirium sucks. Here we go. I mean, yeah, I don't even know where the super seeker room is. Because the, the closest place that it could be, I will test two places where it could be. The absolute closest it could be to the boss fight, which is directly like three rooms above us, would be here and here. And it's not either of them, and I'm not spending any more bombs or 16 hours looking for it. So let's go grab our star Bethlehem and absolutely dumpster this man's. All right, come here, nerd. It's time for you to get destroyed. Space bar, strength card, starting off with mom. All right. So the more damage I take, the more powerful I become. Now, obviously, I'm not Samson, but, you know, I'll take it. What the... You can't just spawn tears inside of me. What the... Is... What... Where? Oh, what the... Why? Eh? Dude, really? The music already stopped? Okay, dude. <laughs> sure. It just already stopped the music. That's fair. I'm just gonna chill inside of Star of Bethlehem. Because our damage is gonna be insane. The music already stopped, and we're already shooting out, like, 15 infinities worth of damage. Alright, where even is he? What's happening? I don't even know. Put me back in Star of Bethlehem, because heck this guy. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know how Botfly is not protecting me right now, but kind of doing a sucky job of protecting me, if I'm going to be honest. Heck this guy and your lasers. I think this, like, maybe if Star of Bethlehem was in the middle of the room, it would be better, but I think this is the fastest we've ever killed Delirium. This, this is literally the easiest delirium fight I've ever had. Wait. Wait, what? Why did he die before he was dead? Okay, whatever. Fine. Alright, well, I'm probably about to get hit by something invisible. If I had to guess. But just look at how much da Honestly, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Give me more. Hit me. Come on. I want to see my boys. No. Pain. I wanted more. I wanted like 12 followers to be shooting at this guy. I wanted this fight to be intense. Pain. I mean, I guess the best I can do is just stand in here and imagine what could have been. I mean, I technically could throw bombs on myself to gain more, but... Ah, whatever. But yeah, so Child's Lease was actually pretty nice. Kept, every kept everything close to me. Easier to hit the guy. And there we go. That was a fantastic Lilith run. I'm pretty sure Lilith is done now, right? Euthanasia has appeared in the basement. Is Lilith done after all that? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Extremely easy. Lilith has now been completed. What's the next character we're going to do? Well, you should probably find out tomorrow because that's when I'll probably figure out. Or at 1.30 a.m. today, which is what I'm planning on doing. So everyone have a fantastic night or day, whatever time it is for you when you're watching. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Hey, okay, bye.